Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olene.com, Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 7, Pull Compensation. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of proper pull compensation. It is one of the biggest mistakes that new embroidery digitizers make in not giving enough pull compensation so that their outlines and their fills meet or has what they call proper registration. So I'm going to get a line region. I think I'll use a rectangle. I'm just going to draw a simple little column so that you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to draw a column about Okay, we just have the running stitch, so it's selected. So I will turn on the fill stitch. Well, actually, it's a satin because that's the last one I use. But normally, when you first turn your machine on, the default's going to be a fill stitch. So we want to make, go over to the sewing attributes, and we're going to go to the direction and pull that arrow down to zero so that it is perfectly horizontal. Now, although it looks like in the uh, screen, it looks like the outline stitch and the fill stitch are going to meet perfectly, but I um, can promise you that is not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is the stitches on the right and left, these are going to pull in because it's going back and forth. That's especially true if this were a satin stitch. Then it's really going to pull in stitches might really come, come to about there and the uh, st stitches that will stack up on the top and on the bottom of the design they're going to go beyond the red outline so we're going to correct this by going to the pull compensation under sewing attributes so you have to be in the expert mode make sure when you see the beginner mode to expert mode that you have all your options available. Now I'm going to get the uh, measuring tool which I've put on my quick access bar uh, learned in lesson one and if you look down in the lower left hand corner uh, keep your eye there as I drag this ruler from one stitch to another. Oh that's, that's uh, longer than 10 millimeters that may not uh, sew out so well, but this is just for demonstrations. So what I need to do to correct that is I'm going to select this and I'm going to increase the pull compensation. It's so large, I'm going to increase that pull compensation to about five. Now it looks like the stitches on the left and right are going to go beyond the red outline stitch. But I can promise you they will pull in at least that much and you may even have to give more pull compensation. Which is why uh, a zigzag stitch uh, can help hide a lot of those kind of registration errors. And it doesn't show it on the screen but it actually does pull it down some or uh, so that it won't go beyond the red outline on the top and bottom of the stitches.